the chair on the floor. Just kind of make yourself comfortable. Roll your shoulders back. You can knee your head a little bit. Notice how easily your head moves. It swivels from side to side so nicely. And then it swivels up and down. So nice. So your head is a mobile turret. So it's your, your cervical, your neck vertebrae are designed for you to have that smooth movement, right? The circular movement, not as easy for the vertebrae of the spine. So be very gentle when you bring, you, you make a circle with your chin, okay? So most of the movements done with the neck are easiest if when you turn the head, if you want to stretch, you bring the chin down. So you can turn the head here or you can turn the head with the chin down, okay? And then back up to center. You can turn the head here, nice and straight, nice and tall, bring the head to center. You can bring the chin down and turn the head. These are movements that are natural for your cervical spine, okay? Movements that are not natural are to throw your head back and lift your chin too high or to try to turn your head with your chin lifted. So don't do those. Those aren't going to feel as good. And that's really a, a hint for you that that's not something that you want to do. Okay? All right. Okay. So you're sitting comfortably. Please remember that whether you're in a chair or whether you're on the floor, you really want to sit to the front of your sit bones. So I move the flesh of my butt straight back. I just pull the flesh of my back end straight back. And that really helps me sit to the front of my sit bones instead of the back of my sit bones so that you can sit up nice and tall. Really, really important. Okay, just roll the shoulders back. We're just gonna place the hands on our legs, your thighs or your knees, whichever works for you. Chin is nice and parallel. Reach up through a tall spine, take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, soften your skin over your body like you would drape yourself with a really luxurious blanket or a very beautiful outfit. So for the next few inhales and exhales, when you exhale, imagine you're draping your body with something beautiful, a beautiful fabric, a gorgeous jacket, dress, a really soft and sumptuous blanket that you're placing around your shoulders. Each time you exhale, just drape your body let it become a little softer. Please remember in our yoga practice today, not to do anything that feels uncomfortable or painful. Please don't do anything that your healthcare providers have told you not to do. Listen to your body and rest when needed. Do movements that feel good to you. This is your yoga practice. I'm merely a guide. Welcome, my name is Judy. Okay, so in this seated position, we're just gonna incur a little bit of movement. Let's breathe. So backs of the hands down, palms up. Inhale as if you're bringing in something beautiful. Inhale, bring in all the sunlight, all the warmth, all the spring. And then as you exhale, let go of all the clutter, let go of all the junk that's been hanging around. Beautiful, and again, inhale, bring it in. And exhale, give it away. And just do that a few more times. Inhale, bring it in, whatever this might be that you want to bring in. And exhale, give it away. So imagine that you get to bring it in and you also get to give away. You get to give back. Inhale up. And exhale, give back. And just a few more like this. Sitting up tall, press down through your sit bones as you reach up through your arms. Beautiful. Notice how strong your waist is. Inhale up. And exhale. Very good. Okay, so with the fingertips here, and for those of you in a chair, they can be down by the side. Roll the shoulders back. Sit up nice and tall. Reach up through the tops of the ears. Notice how strong your waist is. Hug the waist in front and back. And then inhale. And exhale, stretch over. And inhale up, still hugging the waist front and back. And exhale over. These side bends, doing movements of the spine to warm it up will help you. More often than not, 
unless you've got a serious condition that you're seeing a healthcare professional regarding, you know, these will loosen up some of the muscles along the spine, along the rib cage. Your hips are nice and heavy on the floor, in the chair, it just feels good. <laughs> oh, just think about the reach from the hip to the armpit. That's where the stretch is. It's not about the arm really. Keeping the chest open, feel like you're stretching, Oof, making yourself a little longer. And if your back is sore today, then draw your belly in a little bit more. Hug in the front and the back of your torso a little bit more to stay protective of your back today. Good. And just one more time to each side, really enjoying the stretch, like stretching taffy. Oh, feels so good. This is one of my favorite ones. Oh, gorgeous. Very nice. Sit up nice and tall. Let's roll the shoulders back. <sighs> Sitting up nice and tall. Beautiful. So we are going to bring the hands behind us. So those of you in a chair can place the hands on the back of the chair or the back of the seat of the chair. And we're going to walk the hands back and lift the heart up. So you're arching your back. So bring your hands behind you to arch your back. Hold hands on the floor, hold on to the back of the chair. Where is your heart pointing? The very center top of your chest, where is it pointing? Look where your heart is pointing. Remember what I said about throwing your head back, how, how that is for your, for your neck, right? So always look with your face where your heart is pointing and no further than that, you really need to go. Arch the whole spine, make those muscles strong and contracted, opening up the belly. Just another breath here. And gently come on back, walk the hands back up. Good, so now we're gonna do the opposite movement. We're gonna round the spine and walk the hands forward. So now we're rounding our spine a little bit. So those of you in the chair, you're kind of, you're uh, bending over your thighs a little bit. And walk your hands over towards your right leg, a little bit more towards the right leg. Yeah, so you're forward bending more towards your right leg. Good, beautiful. And then still forward bending, come to center, and then walk them over to the other leg. Great, awesome. So you're feeling stretching in the back. Be very gentle here. Do it again, back to center, and then to the one side. Good, nice and gentle, gentle rounding. You don't have to drop your chin really hard. Just a little bit of rounding there, back to center, and over to the other side. Woo. and back to the center position. Now, roll your shoulders back and lift your heart, then come on up. Gorgeous, good job, awesomely awesome. So now we're gonna do a little bit of twisting, so sit up nice and tall. Inhale your arms up, lift your rib cage, stay up here for a few minutes and just stretch up through your rib cage, lifting it up away from the top of your pants, up from your hips, keep the rib cage lifted and your neck is free, inhale here, Exhale, twist, keeping your head nice and tall. One hand maybe behind you or on the back of the chair. The other hand could be on one of your legs. Stay nice and tall. Keep your rib cage lifted up and drawing in. Let's come back to center. Inhale, you can take the arms up or not if you don't want to. Keeping that rib cage lifted, we want to exhale and twist to the other side. Stay lifted. Keep that rib cage lifted. We don't want to collapse into our hips. And then we're going to do it a few more times as we breathe, inhaling up and exhaling, lifting. Very often what I encounter when people do this stretch, keep going, is that in order to get their fingertips to touch the floor or the chair, they have to hunch over. Don't let that happen. It's okay if your hands don't go where you think they're supposed to. No worries. You're just fine. You got it. Gorgeous. And let's just do a few more. Inhale up, exhale, and inhale up, and exhale, and just a couple more. And if you want to continue the twist to look over your shoulder, you can do that. Just stay nice and tall and don't lift your chin. Good. And up. And to the other side, turn your head. Go ahead and look over your shoulder if you want to do it one more time. How about we come to center? We do it one more time to each side. Turning the head, looking back over the shoulder, staying up nice and tall. And 
and back to the center position. Awesomely awesome. Okay, okay, okay. So, sitting on the floor with your legs out in front of you. So bring your legs out in front of you if you are sitting on the floor. If you are sitting in a chair, you're just fine. Take the legs out in front of you a little bit in the chair. Knees bent. Sit up nice and tall. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And just reach the arms up. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the right knee in towards your chest. Curl your back. Inhale, put the right foot down. Exhale, bring the left knee in towards your chest. Good, and go back and forth. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Beautiful. So sitting on the floor, we're gonna work on something called boat pose. Sitting on the floor, boat pose looks like this, okay? In a chair, it looks different. In a chair, you can do one leg at a time or both, but you gotta pull the belly in, okay? All right. Okay, and then come on down. Great job, great job. So let's stretch our legs out. So if you're seated in a chair, stretch one leg out, nice and long. Sit in your chair and stretch one leg out, nice and straight. If you're sitting on the floor, both legs. Beautiful, inhale up, press down through your butt. Exhale, hinge a little bit of a bend towards your straight leg if you're in the chair or both legs if you're on the floor. Beautiful. And then walk the hands in and sit up, great job. So if you're in the chair, do the other leg. Those of us on the floor are gonna do it one more time, both legs straight, inhale up, nice and tall. And exhale, hinge down over the legs and soften the spine. If you're in a chair, you're hinging over the front leg, the straight leg. Good. And then gently come on back up. All right. So what we have here is an opportunity to do a different kind of pose. Those of us that are on the floor, are gonna come down onto our forearms with our legs nice and straight. Good. Elbows underneath the shoulders. You can even put your hands under your butt if that feels good, bring your shoulder blades together. And lift your heart. Let your neck stay nice and long. You don't have to drop your head back, just lift up through the heart. Now, if you're in a chair, straighten both legs out in front of you. If you're in the chair, straighten both legs out in front. Hold on and lift, okay, beautiful. Everybody's enjoying the pose. Good, this is a big opener, open for the chest, right? You're feeling the shoulders stretching, legs are nice and straight, toes pointing up towards the ceiling, beautiful. And then you can relax, rest, you can bend your knees. <laughs> Very good, awesomely awesome. Okay, so what we're gonna do here on the floor is we're gonna come down on our back. We are on the floor and we're gonna bring the right knee in towards our chest and extend the right leg. So if you are seated in a chair, you're gonna extend your right leg out parallel to the floor. Okay, say it nice and tall if you're in that chair. You can lower it, it's okay. Okay, circle your ankle. Everybody circle your ankle. Squeeze your toes a little bit. Sit up nice and tall if you have to hold the chair, that's okay. Good. And then release, place that leg back down on the floor. Good job. There's another leg, so 
bring the other knee in towards your chest and extend the leg out. Stay up nice and tall, hold your chair, circle your ankle one direction and then the other, you're doing great. Gorgeous, very nice. And you can place that foot back on the floor. If you are laying on the floor, bend both your knees, bring the soles of your feet together for Baddha Konasana. If you are in the chair, same thing. You're gonna bring the soles of your feet together, soles of your feet together. I know you can't see me, Jabut. So just gonna bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees stretch out this way. So you may have to sit more to the other edge of the chair. <sighs> Great job, awesomely awesome. Okay, and now we're gonna bring the knees together, place the feet flat on the floor if you are sitting or lying down. So the next thing we're gonna do is happy baby. So if you are laying on the floor, you're gonna bring your right and your left knees in towards your chest. Widen them away from each other. Plant the bottom of your feet towards the ceiling. Hold on to the back of your thighs for happy baby, yep. If you're in a chair, take your legs out wide. Sit back a little bit, take your legs out wide. Inhale here and exhale hinge. You can rest your forearms on your thighs. Good, and just hold on, keep your back straight. You don't have to relax your back over your legs if you are seated. So keep your spine straight, keep your neck long. If you're lying on the floor, it's the same thing. Lengthen your spine, breathe in happy baby. Great job, just breathe. And then when you're ready, those of you who are seated, roll your shoulders back and lift your heart up to come back up to seated. If you're on the floor, you can release your feet and place your feet back on the floor. So what I'd like to do now is windshield wipers. So those of you who are on the floor, walk your feet wide apart, knees wide apart, inhale and then exhale both knees to the right or left. Beautiful, those are windshield wipers. Those of us who are seated, we have to change it just a little bit, okay? We have to turn a little bit to the side and bring this leg in. It's like a lunge. Good, and stretch up through that side. So we stretch right through here if you are seated. Good job. If you are lying down, you can go from side to side or you can hold it on each side and raise the arms overhead to feel more of a stretch. So it's up to you. Just getting a stretch, nice channel stretch in the front of the hips. Those of us in the chair, we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna go to the other side. Take that foot back. And again, you wanna pull the belly and you wanna stretch right through here. So pull the belly and feel the stretch. Feel the stretch through the front of the hip and thigh. Yep. Good, good job, everybody. Just relax. You're opening up the front of your hips and your hip flexors. If you do a lot of sitting, these can get very tight and that's okay. And then you, if you are seated, bring the hand down, come back up to the center. If you're on the floor, you can bring your feet back in. Great job. If you're on the floor, the next thing you're gonna do is lay out nice and long like a stick. Stretch your legs out, reach your arms up overhead and make yourself nice and long if you're laying on the floor. Those of us who are in a chair, We'll stand up and make ourselves nice and long. Reach, 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 tall like a stick. Move your thigh bones back. Feel your waist hug in. Keep your chin parallel to the ground. Good, so this is stick pose. You're just stretching up towards the sky. And then you can release the hands down. Awesomely awesome, okay. So if you're laying on the floor, you're gonna bend both knees, roll over onto your side, and then come to all fours. 
Those of us in the chair are going to take a seat. If you're on all fours, knees underneath the hip joints, the heel of your palm lines up with the top edge of your shoulder. So you don't want your wrist directly under your shoulder joint. You want it slightly forward, okay? When you're on all fours, turn your inner elbow creases to look at each other. Press through the heels and the pads of the fingers. We're gonna do cat cow stretches, okay? So those of us in the chair, we're gonna take a wider stance, hands on the thighs. Cow pose, when you're ready, roll the shoulders back, lift the tailbone, lift the heart, arch your spine, cow pose. And then on the next inhale or exhale, cat pose, Tuck your tailbone round your upper back. Tuck everything in. Make a C shape out of your body. And then go back and forth. Cow pose. Shoulders back. Tailbone up. Heart lifts. Cat pose. The whole front draws in. You make a C shape. Tailbone tucks. Chin draws in slightly. And just go back and forth. You can inhale on one and exhale on the other. These are spinal warm-ups. These feel so good. After having done these, we have now done all six positions of the spine. So all six warm-ups for our spine. And that's a great thing to do. So basically it's side bending, twisting, and then flexion and extension, cat cows. So if you do these every day, even if you do them in a very gentle way, right? It's still great for the spine. Okay, beautiful. Awesomely awesome. And then come back to the all fours position if you are on the floor. What's gonna happen to those of you on the floor is that you're gonna bring your forearms to the floor, elbows underneath the shoulders. Those of us with a chair, you're gonna come up out of your chair. You're gonna come to the front of your chair and lean forward, put your hands on the seat of the chair and put your forearms on the seat of the chair. Good. So with your forearms underneath your shoulders, you can keep your knees bent, those of you who are standing near the chair. Slide your hips back and slide them forward. So it's as if you're sliding your torso back and a little forward. Slide back and a little forward on your forearms. Forearms on the seat of the chair. Slide back and a little forward. Good job. Doing it on the floor or doing it with the chair, either way is good. It's just a gentle way to open up the shoulders a bit. Okay. And then just come back to the neutral position, elbows still on the floor or on the seat of the chair. So now what you're gonna do is if you're on the floor, you can move your knees back an inch or two away from your wrists, okay? If you are near your chair, you can walk your feet back away from the chair. So what we're gonna do is that plank pose on the forearms, keeping the belly firm and the back firm. Inhale, slide your chest forward. So now you're doing a plank pose on your forearms. Yeah. Inhale here, exhale back. So we wanna do that plank pose on our forearms. Now, if you're using a chair, you can walk your feet back even more if you feel sturdy. You can do full plank, right? In a chair, we have no, using the chair, we have no choice. On the floor, you can keep the knees down. And back. And forward again. Woohoo, plank pose. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You're doing great. You're doing great. Hug the belly and the back in towards each other. Great job, everybody. Now, if you're on the floor, bring your knees down and sit your hips back to child's pose. If you are using a chair, walk your feet in towards the chair and just relax your upper body on the seat of the chair. Bring your head down. Soften your knees. You're okay. You're okay. If you're on the floor now, you're going to come back to all fours. If you're using the chair, you're gonna put your hands on the seat of the chair, bend the knees, roll the shoulders, lift the heart, and you're gonna stand up if you were using the chair. Stand up, good. So what's gonna happen next is lunge, okay? Lunge pose is gonna happen next. So if everyone wants to come up to standing, we can all do lunge pose together. 
If you're using a chair, you can use it to help you to hold on to when you do your lunge pose. Or you can use it underneath you. You know what I mean? Like it depends on what you feel you need today, okay? So you decide. All right. Traditional lunge pose is done on your back toes, on the ball of your back foot. It's a balance challenge. So standing, use your chair however you need to. Step your right foot back. Come up on the ball of the right foot. Yeah, this is a lunge. So you come up on the ball of the right foot. Go ahead and lift and lower your heel. Your front knee is a little bent. You don't have to worry. We're not going very low here. Good. And then find a spot in the lunge where you feel comfortable. Lower the heel just enough. Front knee's a little bent. Roll your shoulders back, right? And you can lift one arm up and keep one hand on the chair, or you can bring both hands up and challenge your balance, but hug the front and back of your waist in towards each other. Good job. Just breathe, you're doing great. Just breathe. Gorgeous. Inhale here, exhale, release the arm. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take the back heel and we're gonna let it press the floor. So go ahead and put the back heel down. This is gonna turn your back foot out a little bit. That's okay. It's about 40 degrees, that's fine. So now the back leg is straight and the heel's on the floor. Lower your hips straight down, straight down. This is gonna bend your front knee. Now lift your hips back up. This is gonna straighten your front leg. Lower your hips back down. Good, lift the hips back up. Now, when you lower the hips down, only go as far as you feel comfortable and hold there. So you have to bend in the front knee, right? And you look at your front knee, it shouldn't go over your toes and it should be pointing towards your second and third toe, okay? Beautiful, your heart faces the front knee. Once again, you can raise one arm up or both arms. This time, lift your heart up. Remember when you were, you had your hands behind you and you were doing that big arch in your chair, you were holding the chair on the floor, you had your hands behind you, lift the heart up. And even if you have to keep your hands on your hips, you can still lift your heart. You sure can, you got it. Beautiful, big stretch for the back leg, a lot of work here. And then release, come on up. Woo! Now what I'd like you to do is to bring the back foot a little closer. Now, both your feet are wide enough apart so you're not on a tightrope, right? Okay. So this foot's turned out a little bit, this back foot, and the front foot's facing forward. So what I'd like you to do here is straighten both knees. Straighten both knees. Now, if you have a chair nearby, you can hold on to it. Some people will put the chair in front. So what we're going to do is we're going to hinge at the hip with both of our knees straight. You can place your hands here. You can put your hands on the chair. This is pyramid pose. Put your arms by your sides. This is an upright pose. You got it. Both legs straight. Yep. I know this is challenging. Keep the neck nice and long. Good, good, good. Move your belly up towards your spine. Great job. Now bend your front knee a little bit and come on up with the heart. Lift the heart back up. Very nice job. Very good. Very good, very good job. Okay, so now we're gonna take both sets of feet and we're gonna turn them side on the mat. Okay, remember which one of your legs was forward, so because we're, we're gonna have to do the opposite side. Okay, okay. Wide legs, now you can put your chair in front of you if you need to, okay? But it's up to you. Inhale here, exhale, hinge. You can bend your knees a little and put your hands either on the chair or on your shins or on the floor, okay? So you decide what you wanna use, okay? And just lengthen your spine, let your spine lengthen. You can bend your knees a little bit, okay? Now I'm gonna ask you to do is with your knees a little bent, Slide your hips to the left. 
Nice, come back to center, inhale, slide your hips to the, the other side. Good, inhale, center, slide your hips to the left. Inhale, center, slide your hips to the right. So one knee bends and the other knee straightens when you do this, right? It's a little lunge. And just go back and forth, keeping your belly drawing in towards your spine and keeping your back as long as you can. Woohoo! Good job. And then come back to center. Walking the hands up your legs, hug your belly, roll your shoulders back and draw yourself upward, nice and tall. Good job. So now we're gonna turn our feet the other way to practice the lunge, the warrior, okay? And the pyramid pose, okay? So you have your chair wherever you wanna have it. You can have it to hold on to, you can do whatever you want with that. So let's practice lunge pose. Both feet face forward and you're up on the balls of your back foot, right? So make sure your legs are wide enough apart so your front knee doesn't go over your toes, okay? Roll the shoulders, now lift the back heel up and down. Even if it's only a quarter of an inch up and down, it's okay. Pressing through the ball of your foot, especially the ball of the big toe. And then find the spot where the hips lower, the heel lowers, front knee bends, and you feel comfortable. You can do this, you can hold this. Now this is a balanced challenge. Belly draws in towards the spine. You can even hug your inner thighs towards each other. Lift one arm up. If you wanna challenge your balance, lift the other one. Good, keep your head looking forward, not up. Good, 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 good. Nice long sides of the waist. Great job. Inhale here, exhale, release the hands. Now you're gonna bring your back heel to the floor and you're gonna let it turn out a little bit more. Good, for warrior one position. And here's where we practice with our hips. We lower them straight down and then we lift them up. We lower them straight down and then we lift them back up. Lower and lift lower and lift. Now lower the hips where they feel comfortable. Look at your front knee. It should be pointing towards your second, third toes. It shouldn't be covering your toes. Good. Now you can hold on the chair or not. Lift up one arm or both arms. Could be one arm, could be both arms, doesn't matter. But with warrior one, lift your heart up. Even if your hands are on your hips, lift the heart. Lift the heart a little bit up. Arch your back a little bit, lift the heart, lift the heart. Let it come through. Did you lose like the we lost lost her. Yeah, we okay. lost her. All right. Well, they'll probably realize it. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> I'm going to mute again because my dogs might bark. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
something's going on. Powell Labs meeting out pro. What's that mean? Hmm. Probably just trying to log back out. Oh, there she is. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're still one here many, one of the we're many still, glitches we're <laughs> still in the same pose <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know how long we were supposed to hold it for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay Can't hear you. No. No. Is she on mute, maybe? I can't tell. No, it doesn't look like the symbol is on. Back. Can hear you now. now. We're trying to fake it out and see if we still have sound. How's that, guys? Can you hear? We me? can hear you. You're good. Can you hear me now? Yes. Why can't yes. we hear them? I don't know what's going on. That's good. We're just going to continue on here, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Just going to keep rolling. <laughs> okay. So she's still spotlighted. Keep it rolling. Oh, you are still spotlighted. Good news. Okay. All right, everybody. Okie dokie. All right. So what I'd like to do, uh, since we got a little bit interrupted, I'd like to work on squatting. And I know that squatting is, is really challenging. So let's see how we do. Okay. If you have a chair, any of you, we'll see what we can do with the chair. Okay. So I'm going to take my chair here. I'm going to stand in front of my chair wide with my toes turned out. Okay. So wide with my toes turned out, 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 out. Okay. Sit back. I'm trying to find the best way to do this. Okay, wide, sit. Sit, sit, sit. Good, good, good. Turn your knees and your toes out as much as you need to. It's completely up to you. You can bring your heels closer if that feels okay. But you got to sit your butt back. Good. Now, you can place your hands on your thighs or on the chair. Good, 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 good. Everyone's different. We're just squatting a little bit. See what we can do, okay? Just squat. Just sit. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Let the knees and the toes roll out. Good job, good job. Turn out. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Everyone's a little different here, okay? But just squat with your hands on the chair if that's what works for you. Just want to open those hips just a little bit more. Good job. Nice. Okay. If you're on the floor, you can come all the way down, okay, to all fours and practice downward facing dog. Those of us using a chair, we're going to unbend our knees, hands on the chair. Okay? So you're on the floor. You can do downward facing dog. Those of us on the chair, we're going to do it too. Put your hands on the seat of the chair. Inner elbow creases, look at each other. Walk back. And stretch, downward facing dog. Reach your hips up and back behind you, like you're going to plant your butt cheeks up on the wall behind you. Stretch out through the sides of your waist. Let your arms become long. Reach all the way out through the pinkies. Press down through the base of the index finger and thumb, and through the pads of the fingers. Push the chair or the floor away. Keep your head between your arms. Good job. Nice stretch. Woo -hoo. 
then gently, gently walk your feet in towards your hands. Walk your feet towards the chair or your hands. Now this is our forward bend. Your feet can be as wide as your hips or wider. You can bend the knees a little and release your whole chest to your thighs. You can hug your legs with your arms or you can hold your left elbow with your right arm and your right elbow with your left arm and hang a little bit. If you're using the chair, you can just put your arms on the chair for your forward bend. But this is a forward bend and the purpose of this is to let your spine open a little bit, to let it stretch, okay? So just breathe nice and easy. As you hold this position, imagine tucking your low belly gently, gently up and into your pelvis deeply. Imagine all the organs in the low belly tucking up into your pelvis. Feel the stretching. Feel the stretching. Doesn't matter if your hands are close to the floor or on the chair. Talk the low belly in and up and you'll feel some stretching. Gorgeous. All right. If you are close to the floor, you can come on down to the floor and take a lay down on your back. If you are using the chair, put the hands on the seat of the chair, hands on the thighs, roll the shoulders, come on up. All right. So if you're on the floor, you can lie on your back. If you're in the chair, you're going to sit down. Because what we're going to do is this stretch here. So if you are on the floor, you can lay on your back and do this stretch, okay? Those of us in the chair, we're gonna do it seated. So sitting in the edge of the chair, bringing the right foot and ankle over the top of the left thigh. This is a nice stretch for that outer hip. Sit up as tall as you can and keep your foot nice and bright. Gorgeous, very good. Now you have a couple options here. Those lying on the floor can take their other foot right off the floor. Those of us seated can gently hinge a little bit forward over their leg so they'll feel the stretch more, but keep your foot nice and strong either position that you're in. Good, good, good. This is a big stretch, I know it's hard. Okay, so now what I'm going to ask you to do is take the leg you have crossed over and bring it over like you're having coffee. If you're laying on your back, do it on your back. So bring it over like you're having coffee. Okay, so if you're lying on the floor, you're going to twist your waist to the right towards the floor. So it's a twist. Those of us in the chair are going to sit up tall and twist, okay? So you have a couple options. If you're a yes, if you're on the floor, both your legs are gonna go over to the side. If you're on the floor, yes, exactly, very, very good. If you're, if you're sitting in a chair, you're gonna turn in the direction of the leg you have it on top. Stay nice and tall, good job. Very good job. And then we're gonna come back to the center position. Awesome. Now you're going to take the other leg over. So uncross the legs and bring the other foot left. I have my left foot and ankle over the top of my right thigh from the number four position. My toes are spreading. We want to feel as if our foot and ankle are magnetized to our thigh bone and right above our knee so that we keep our, our uh, ankles and knees lined up. Sit up nice and tall. If you're seated, you can take the one foot off the floor. If you are lying down, if you are seated, you can Lengthen and then hinge. Nice and easy, but you don't have to. Even if you hinge over, keep your back flat. Even if you hinge at half an inch and feel more stretch, it's good. But if you feel pain, it's not good. <laughs> no pain, you don't want any of that, right? You're doing great. Awesomely awesome. Nice stretch, just feeling it. This is a big hip stretch and it's really great to get your hips open. Makes you feel free. Makes you feel really, really, really free. And then hug the belly. Come on up. Gorgeous. So now what you're going to do 
is cross the leg over. Sit up nice and tall, and you're going to turn right in the direction of this leg. Sitting up nice and tall, inhale and exhale, and twist. Beautiful. Now, if you're laying on the floor, the floor is keeping your back nice and long, right? Um, if you are seated, you have to stay up really tall. Reach up through the tops of the ears. Keep the spine long. Hug the belly in when you do twists. It really helps make the back feel happier. Gorgeous. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your chest back or your knees back up and uncross your legs. Woohoo. Good job, good job, good job. Very nice, very nice. Roll the shoulders back. If you want, you can bend forward and hug your knees. Just a little hug of the knees. Feels good. You're on the floor. You're just going to draw your knees into your chest, a little rocking back and forth, a little hugging going on there. We like that. Okay, you gently, gently bring your chest up. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is bridge pose. So if you're on the floor, you know what to do for bridge pose. Ankles underneath the knees, knees and hips, feet width apart. You can take your arms next to you or here or underneath you to do bridge pose and just practice it a couple of times. It's a little more difficult in the chair. So I'm gonna turn side to show you how to do it in the chair. Okay, so in the chair, We're gonna sit towards the front edge, okay? We're gonna roll the shoulders back and bring the hands to the sides of the chair. Bend your elbows a little bit, lift your heart. Good, now this is fine. I have my ankles underneath my knees, my feet and my knees are about hips width apart. If you want, if you want and you're in the chair, you can lift if you want, but you don't have to. Those of you on the floor, just practice your bridge. Those of you in the chair, sit your butt back down, give yourself a rest. So those of you in the chair, you can practice this a couple times, okay? But you gotta roll those shoulders back, lift that heart. Even if you don't lift your chukas up, keep the heart lifting. Then maybe press into the feet to lift the hips. Good, good, good. You don't have to press up very far, you got this. And release. Great job, great job, great job. I know that's a, that's a difficult one to do, okay? So next, we're just gonna do a few more twists. So if you're lying on the floor, you can keep your feet on the floor with your knees bent or off the floor. And you're just gonna twist your knees to the right side, back to center, and then to the left side. Those of us who are seated, we're gonna sit up tall, inhale up, and as we exhale, twist. Beautiful. And again, center, inhale up, exhale, twist. Good, nice. And a few more times, inhale up, exhale, twist. Gorgeous. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Inhale up, exhale, twist. One more time each side. Gorgeous, very good job, very good job. All right, all righty, righty, dighty. So, if you're lying on the floor, you can bring both knees in towards your chest and extend both legs towards the ceiling. Okay, yep, and just enjoy that. See if you can make your hips heavy and let your legs kind of sway a little bit like seaweed, okay? Nice, beautiful. Those of us who are seated, you know, we really can't do that, okay? 
but we can definitely enjoy our legs a little bit more. I will show you how. Okay. So if you are seated, come on up, stand up. Place your hands on the back of the chair, little hinge, balance on one leg, right? And then just circle the leg, circle it, circle it in the hip joint, circle the leg in the hip joint. Make sure you circle the other way. If you are laying on the floor with your legs up in the air, circle your thighs in your hip joints. Yeah, move the thigh bones in the hip joints. Good. Using the chair, let's try the other leg. Relax it behind you nice and relaxed and then circle it. Circle it. Yup, just circling the thigh bone in the hip socket. Think about where your thigh bones drop into your hips. Circle and then circle the other way. Yeah, beautiful. And you could do that again with each leg. Just circle in, keep the belly firm if you are uh, standing near your chair and circle the other three, just circle in. And then the other leg, just making some gentle circles, keeping the knee soft. Circle one way and then the other. Awesomely awesome, okay. So those of you standing, you can step back, give yourself another stretch. Okay. And then walk back up to your chair. So now it's time for Shavasana. So you can do Shavasana in your chair or laying on the floor. Whichever way works for you, find a way or a place that that's comfortable, okay? And we'll do a little bit of breathing practice. So make yourself as comfortable as you can. So what I do if I'm sitting in a chair, especially a nice sturdy chair like this one, here, I, I, I wiggle my butt back as far as it'll go. Then I sit up. So I'm still not leaning all the way against the back of the chair, but I'm wider here, which just feels better for the length of my spine. Rest your hands, put your feet wherever is comfortable. Roll the shoulders. If you're lying on the floor, shake everything out. Make sure that you feel nice and relaxed. If you're seated, you're gonna line your head up over your shoulders, right between, both right and left shoulders. You're gonna lean the shoulders back a little so they're right over your hips. Good. If you're lying down, the floor is doing that for you. All that I can ask is if you're lying down, make sure and adjust so that your chin is not higher than your forehead if you are lying down. Don't let your chin be higher than your forehead if you are lying down. So think about how that feels. For those of us in a chair, we drop the chin just a little and we feel the neck stretch. And that's where we'd like to be. We don't wanna drop the chin all the way to the chest. We just wanna drop it a little bit so we're lifting up the tops of our ears. And then everybody just soften. Take some inhales and exhales, you can close your eyes. And soften each exhale. See if you can just soften. Again, you're just draping all the tissues and skin over the shape of the body. It's so nice. Just breathing. Now there's a phrase that we can use, right? When we're just breathing and trying to calm ourselves, maybe regulate our body if we're being stressful, or if we just want some nice rest time that's not necessarily sleeping, okay? Let's think of that term, let it be. We know that Beatles song, right? And sometimes people say, let it go, but let's just say, let it be, okay? So that could mean a lot of things. That could mean you know, maybe we are aspiring to something greater than ourselves or something better in our lives. And we want to let that be. We want that to come to fruition. So maybe to you, that's what let it be means. Or maybe it means, let me find a way to just be who I am at this moment. Just let it be. I don't have to worry about anything right now. Don't have to stir the pot. Right? In any way, I'm just going to softly feel my body, notice the sensations of my breathing. I'm going to be okay with that. So that's all we need to do. If your mind wanders and you're thinking of later or worrying or you have stories going on in your head, which I always do, you can acknowledge them 
and then let them go. Just say to yourself, let it be. Let it be how it is right this moment. You can even say that to yourself with each exhalation. Nice inhale. You can take a deep inhale if you want. Exhale, let it be. And maybe you can even lengthen your exhales as you say in your head. Let it be. Or maybe you have a different phrase that you want to use, and that's okay too. Stay with the feeling of your breath. Stay with any sensations that you feel in your body. Not all sensations that we feel in our body can be labeled good or bad. Maybe we can look upon them that way. Just feelings in the body. Coolness, warmth, pressure. And we can always focus on those definite sensations in our body but the feeling of our breath can be moved from one breath to another. Or if we're using a phrase, let it be. Know that if you're distracted, you can always come on back to your body and your breath. Just let it be. Taking a few minutes for this kind of meditation every day is very beneficial. Physiologically, mentally, emotionally. Take time to settle into your breath and your body. Staying present, however that looks for you. When you're done with any kind of meditation, you can just simply open your eyes if you are seated. If you're aligned in Shavasana position, you can open your eyes and gently move the body a bit before you roll over onto your side and bring yourself back up to seated. So everybody's got their option here. But most of the time with meditation, what we do is we just come out of the meditation by just opening our eyes. Just opening our eyes. That's all. If you are in Shavasana, however, you got to be careful coming up from the ground. So move slowly, roll over onto your side, and use the drawing action of your belly to come back up to seat. Great. So here we are. Good job, everybody. Did a wonderful job with your yoga practice today. I definitely uh, think that you should do breathing exercises every day. It's good for everyone. I try to do it every day. Um, you know, it just regulates you a little bit. So think when things get crazy and it feels good to be a little more regulated. Thank you for joining me today. I honor the divine teachers within all of you. May we all find peace, no matter what we are given. Namaste, my friend. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.